Today, I'm gonna show you how to make some infused vodka. In this video, I'm going to be using some distillate, but you can use any concentrate that you like. The first step is infusing a smaller portion of the alcohol with the concentrate you want to use. I will remove a smaller portion of distillate from my jar here and transfer it into the beaker. Now distillate is quite hard and it's you can't just scoop it up. So what I find an easier way to do it is I take a spoon and I heat it with a heat gun and that allows me to easier scoop it since the spoon is hot and it just slides through the distillate. So now that the spoon is hot, it'll more easily scoop out some distillate. It's still quite hard though. Okay, I've got a nice little chunk there. And I'll just transfer it into the scale. You can get it off the spoon using the heat gun as well. Okay, so it looks like we're using a 3.5 grams on the dot for this video. So I'm also going to add in a magnetic stir bar. What the magnetic stir bar does is it reacts with a magnet in the hot plate and it will automatically stir for me so I don't have to stir it manually. And I'm gonna add about two shots worth of alcohol into the beaker. And then just simply place it on the hot plate Allow it to warm up and turn on the automatic stir. We're going to try and fully dissolve our concentrate into the alcohol, and that way it will be easier to mix into the rest of the alcohol. It's been stirring for about 20 minutes, but it looks like I added a little bit too much distillate per alcohol. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more alcohol into it to help it dissolve some more. So I've got about 90 mLs of vodka to three and a half grams of distillate in there. That should cover it. I'm also noticing that some alcohol is evaporating. I'm heating it at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I forgot to mention that. And so I'm just gonna put a beaker on top and that should help trap some of the escaping gases. After mixing the vodka and the alcohol until it's mostly mixed, it should be fine to pour into the vodka. Now I do have some chunks in there still. Looks like due to the water content of this only being 40% alcohol by volume, it wasn't able to fully dissolve it just because I have so much distilled in there. Hopefully once I mix it in there, it will fully dissolve into the rest of the alcohol. So just pour it in back into your bottle and that's it. Then give it a good shake. Oop. So it looks like I did use too much distillate. There is some separating. But I'll go ahead and let this sit overnight and see if that helps it fully dissolve into the bottle. If not, looks like I'll have to try this again and mix in some emulsifiers. But uh, normally this should work. Uh, the issue here is I just used way too much distillate. There's 3,500 milligrams of THC in here and that looks to be just a little bit too much. It's oversaturated it. Due to the magic of editing, we'll be back here tomorrow and you'll see what the bottle looks like after some waiting time. Do you wanna help support the channel? You can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button on every video. By joining the channel, you get access to exclusive perks, such as an emoji of my face and members only videos that I upload time to time. Members in the $30 and above tier also get access to a one-on-one -on -one private conversation with me where I'll be able to help answer any questions you have related to cannabis. So if you want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member today by clicking the join button below. All right, so I let it sit for a couple days and it looks like I used a little bit too much distillate. There's about half a gram to one gram still stuck to the bottom, but the rest is fully dissolved. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it, still call it a success. Um, once I finish drinking this, I'll just fill it back up with some more vodka and then that'll dissolve the last bit on the bottom. So that's how you make some alcohol with concentrate. 
So try not to use more than two and a half grams or you might have some residual on the bottom, but it's that easy, just mix it in like that. Next, I'll be showing you how to mix some rosin and some rum. Have a good day.